Pantheon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Tossball finals are scheduled to air soon, but a scandal has rocked the league and thrown this pivotal game into the... C&P chicken and potatoes. At C&P, we know our C&P. Oh, neat! They got stuff in here I ain't seen in ages. Some freelancers sneer at Sublight for setting up a storefront, but they rake in the bits. Welcome to Sublight Salvage and Shipping, a legitimate business for legitimate consumers. You the one flying the unreliable? Miss Lily has been expecting you. I'll unlock the door. Hey, Doc Fenhill. Glad to see you ain't moved on from Groundbreaker yet. Hey, Tobias. How's the leg? Good as you left it, ma'am. Still bends and everything. A bullet went through it, most of the way. The other guy thought his ship was perfectly operational. I told him it was salvage. We disagreed. I won. Workplace hazards, Captain. Pretty routine around here. Sure am. A few years back, they got me started on simple acquisitions. You know those latches they put on cargo bays ain't worth a damn? These days, I stick to HQ and look after Miss Lilia. So you're the new captain in town. I was hoping you'd make your way to my office. Saves me the work of hunting you down. Lilia Hagen, CEO and Executive Director of Aggressive Operations. I'm guessing you already know about Sublight, otherwise you wouldn't have come. Charmed. It's nice to see the Unreliable again. Useful ship. Hawthorne was my contractor. I'd recognize that leaky boat of his anywhere. I didn't ask. I have a salvage job for someone light on corporate ties with a reliable set of wings. But there's a catch. Just like in the serials. If you have a nav key to Stellar Bay, the job's yours. Interested? One of my guys in Stellar Bay has a lead on some high-grade salvage, but he went dark before he could spill the goods. We arranged a drop at the Saltuna Warehouse's loading dock. Find whatever he left there and take it to Fallbrook. My gal Catherine will be expecting you. Now get going. Catherine will brief you on the details when you check in with her at Fallbrook. One last thing. When you're on the job, keep a pair of eyes in the back of your head. Understood? You'll do fine. Probably nothing to worry about. Probably. Good enough for me. Sublight's always got plenty of work. Good gig if you don't mind where the fifth comes from.
Welcome aboard, Captain. We are now in orbit above Stellar Bay, Captain. No blockade is a match for my piloting skills. Hold on there. I gotta sign you in. Don't think I've seen you around. That means you must be new to Stellar Bay. You are new here, right? You must have seen those UDL gunships on your way in. There's only three of them these days. Still, they tend to scare folk off. You may not have heard, you being new, but Stellar Bay hardly ever gets off-road traffic. Us being cut off by the board and all. Which means I never get to do this part, but I've been practicing, so here goes. On behalf of Monarch Stellar Industries, welcome to Stellar Bay, home of the freshest Sal Tuna and Halcyon. Please state your name for the records. Swell. There's one for the logs. I'm even going to give you your own entry code. I'm not supposed to do that. It's against procedure, but Mr. Sanjar isn't so strict about the rules here. Besides, I got a lot of empty entries to fill. We don't get ship traffic in town. Only off-worlders who do make it out here are sublight. They got a base in Fallbrook. And thank the stars for them, or we would have run out of Rizzo's Purple Berry Crunch years ago. Mr. Sandra will be mighty pleased to meet you. If you see him over at headquarters, maybe you could tell him I did a bang-up job of welcoming you? Oh, and if you're headed that way, maybe you could do me a favor? I got this Rizzo's Rangers Tosswell poster coming in on the next sublight shipment, signed by the Black Hole himself. Only I haven't heard anything in a while. You think you could check with Celia to see if it's come in? Thanks a bunch! Celia works for Mr. Sanjar in the MSI building next to the bar. She's always there, so you can't miss her.
Look, you can tell Catherine the new shipment will be ready when it's ready, all right? She's welcome to come up here and pack boxes herself if she's in such a hurry. Did she now? Well, I can see I was mistaken. Because if Catherine really had sent you, there'd be a lot more expletives in your message. I hope you can forgive my temper. This job has been running me ragged lately. First, my autoloader foreman stages a walkout, and now my chief pescatological health manager is missing. Braxton. He's in charge of getting the fish fat, but also making sure they don't get too many tumors. He's a real wizard with pharmaceuticals, but he has creative notions of working hours. Comes with living in a free colony, I guess. I can't keep working double shifts either. Since you don't seem to be constrained yourself, maybe you could check up on him. He lives in the apartments. Tell him Velma said to get his lazy ass down here, or she might start noticing those extra drugs he's been taking from supply. Something else on your mind? Sublight boss out of Fallbrook. Handles most goods that come in or out of Cellar Bay. Has a mouth like a ground zig spacer. Wrapped mask and painted eyes, right here. Sir, please, I need your help. I, I can pay. Oh, thank you for stopping. Everyone acts like nothing's wrong. Like my little boy isn't at risk of being eaten by some vile creature. Please, you have to help me get my little Tucker back. He ran away and is going to get himself killed. Oh, I, I just know a Raptodon is melting him with acid as we speak. It's more dissolving than melting. That is not helpful. Don't you tell me to calm down. I promised my boy I'd protect him for always. But how can I keep him safe if he's run away? He ran out into the wilderness a few days ago. I warned him about the raptodons, mantisaurs and marauders, the toxic sulfur pools and poisonous glands, but he didn't listen. Oh, law, Captain. A youngster won't last long in a place like this. Please, can't we help? Please, won't you go and find my boy? Thank you. Oh, I know he'll be safe now that someone's able to fetch him home. You look for him in Amber Heights, you hear? It's down the road southwest of town. I'm sure he made it that far. I just know it. And if you find any of them iconoclast indoctrinating my boy, you punch them in the mouths. Tell them what I think of them luring little boys away from their mamas. It's immoral.
cabin on one of my first ships. You reckon the smell ever goes away? Maybe the wind off the sea helps. Thank you. 
Well, hello, and welcome to the home of the Iconoclasts. I'm Rose. Please, take a pamphlet. In it, you'll find everything you need to know about Graham, his philosophist truths, and the Iconoclast way. He wrote it himself, you know. Oh, oh no, I'm so sorry. I keep forgetting. We're out of pamphlets. Gosh, blast it. Why, we're the only free people in Halcyon. No corporations, no shackles, no problems. Oh, those are just hurdles. We deal with them as they come. You're welcome to stay with us, so long as you can earn your keep. The new boy! Yes, he's quite clever. He took to our teachings very quickly. Last I saw him, he was headed into one of the buildings up the hill. Seems like a nice little town. Except for all the dead critters. All I'm saying is it ain't worth it. It's gonna taste like sulfur all the same. No, uh huh. Tarot's got you. Looks like I'm not the only new face around here. What do I call you, stranger? Welcome to Amber Heights, Captain. Call me Tucker. You here to join the Iconoclasts? Help us free this world? I am not a little boy. Haven't been one for decades, no matter what my mama wishes. I take it she's still looking for me? I'd hope she'd accept my decision. According to her, stepping foot outside of the house in broad daylight is too dangerous. My entire life she crammed a fear of danger down my throat. Don't go play with friends. Mantasaurs will tear your arms off. Don't leave the city. Raptodons will spit acid on your face. Marauders can violate you. You'd fall in a sulfur pool. I stuck around way too long, ruled by her fears. I'm 42 years old, but she still sees me as a little boy in need of her protection. I won't stand for it, I tell you. Captain, what are you saying? Yeah, what? What in the nebula is wrong with you? She's an old woman. You'd threaten my flesh and blood just to get me to do what you want? That was not even close to funny. Stars, I don't know. My mama's a stubborn woman. She won't quit until I'm dead. You know... That might just work. You go back and tell her you found my body beside the road, all mangled and tore up. If she believes me dead, she won't look for me no more. I hate to think of her grieving, but it'll be good for her to move on. In the long run, you know? Oh, right. Uh, uh, I guess you could take my daddy's ring. I've worn it ever since he died. Mama would recognize it right away. You take this back to Stellar Bay. Tell my mama I died and you found that on my body. I know it'll be hard on her, but it's the only way.
please tell me you found my baby boy. Where is he? Where's my little Tucker? No, that can't be true. Not my little boy, not my baby. Wait, are you sure it wasn't someone else? Maybe my little boy's all right. How could you know it was him? That's Tucker's ring. His daddy gave it to him and he never took it off since. How did you... No, no, it can't be. He's not dead, not my child, not my sweet Tucker. I promise I always look out for him. Take the money. Just please leave me to grieve. I think I'm gonna be sick. I clean the apartments while everyone's at work. I've seen all sorts of messes, but this... If you're going into the apartments, do not go into the lower one on the right. That's where the body is. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go contemplate a hot shower. You're the new face. Wow, you must be up on all the latest tossball games. So who do you follow? Wait, don't tell me. You look like a Hammersmith Thunder fan. No, Glacial Age Mammoths. Let's I'd heard they'd gotten a new hacker. Is that why everyone's making such a fuss about you? But what are you doing on Monarch? We're not so isolated as I thought. So, what can I do for you? Poor Isaac. 
I was wondering why I hadn't seen him in a few days. I'd really like to help. Isaac was a sweet fellow, even if he did have terrible teeth. I don't know for sure, but I saw Elijah and his buddies pushing Isaac around. They're hooligans from Fallbrook. They sweep into town, drop supplies off behind the warehouse, and spend the rest of their stay getting rowdy over tossball games. They usually loiter in the alley behind the yacht club. They're not allowed in the bar anymore. I bet you anything Isaac ran into trouble with one of them. Mr. Sanjar will be pleased to hear about it when you're done. I know he gets fed up with the Fallbrook bullies, but there's not much he can do. Sounds like rat in there. Oh, it does work. What are the chances of all the times and places we could have been born? Yeah. We're here, light years from Earth, going about our life. Every time the punch clock... Miss Ellie, er, uh, Dr. Fenhill, I notice your pistol's been making a funny noise. What are you talking about? I oil it every night. Well, look here. Your slide's not recoiling fully. You might be due for a new spring. I could take a look, maybe fix it for you. Uh, sure. You. I'm Thank short you on bits at the moment, but I'll pay you back. Oh, no. I mean, it don't cost nothing. I... Hey! What are you doing here? This is our secret alley. Berta already pissed by those crates to market. Listen, that purple tooth twerp had it coming. Not that anyone has proof. And not that it's any of your business. Did I get another advance, Mr. Nandi? Just make sure it's properly logged. Well, new business turns up at last. Celia, didn't I tell you our new statistics-based advertising model would be a hit? That you did, sir. How can yield improvements of 26.7% not quicken the pulse? How can 32% cost savings not moisten the loins? You've often posed these very questions. Clear my schedule. This newcomer has a meeting with me. 
Celia, will you make a note of that for my self-review? Very generous. Noted. But not so generous I can't drive a good bargain. Now, who sent you? Rizzo's, perhaps? Or Auntie Cleo herself? What a charming notion. One doesn't meet many free spirits in Alcyon. Not outside Tartarus prison, anyway. Forgive me, I'd be positively enraptured. Only, I take it this means you aren't here for Saltuna. Oh, a shame. I'd been saving a bottle of iceberg aged whiskey for an occasion like this. Seems like you're having a rough time, Mr. Sanjar. Are you doing quite all right? Oh, don't worry on my account. This is merely the latest in a long line of professional erotic and athletic disappointments. I had hoped that livening up our advertisements with enticing figures would draw the other corporations back to our bosom, but it seems we're back to the drawing board. Thanks to the so-called Hazard Clause, Monarch has been cut off from the board's resources and protection for ten years now. now. We've kept ourselves in business by trading with individual corporations, but given the off-the-books nature of those transactions, such arrangements are precarious. Yes, freedom is a tempting ideal, but a rather costly paramour. Indeed. Mr. Nandi here has a rather ingenious plan to get MSI restored to the board. On our terms, mind you. But will that help the people here, Mr. Sanjar? Keep them fed and safe? That's precisely what I'm trying to do. And if our advertising scheme hasn't borne fruit, then perhaps it's time we took matters into our own hands. It's true, our Celia is an alarmingly competent middle manager. At any other company, she'd be wasted in data entry. The plan she refers to is a two-pronged approach, and the first part involves seeing Stellar Bay properly defended. With a Bolt 52 cartridge, of course. If you can get us what we need to rejoin the board, starting the Bolt 52, we'll be able to become one of the most productive and secure cities in Halcyon. And you'll have a powerful ally on the board. Why, one of the strongest defenses in Halcyon. An extremely powerful ordinance. I never realized fighting the bureaucracy could be this interesting. It is quite the rush. In the old arms building southwest of town, which used to be part of Stellar Bay before we had to move our walls in, these days, it's overrun with marauders and raptodons. Saying what which way? That's just what it's called. It's supposed to stand for something, but I forget what. Oh, and while you're at it, there should be a terminal in the arms building with some dangerous information. Perhaps you could delete it so it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. A fine day for business, isn't it? Anyway, what can I do for you? That's terrible! What happened? But that means we won't be able to log their testimonies. If there's one thing I've been hoping to re-establish in Stellar Bay, it's proper documentation for legal matters. Celia, I do hope you're taking notes. I've got to remember some of these quips. Indeed, sir. Still, your intervention in the matter is much appreciated. Please consider this payment for your services.
I see. And was his delivery of the MSI authorized greeting up to snuff? Well, that's excellent. I'll see that your feedback makes it into his review. What else can I do for you?
here and a mad queen showed up then wrapped it on it was a void blasted mess i ran in here and um, now the door's locked little help phew thanks mister my buddy had a key but i ain't heard him in a while he locked me in here and took off probably got munched so look for a dead guy i guess or a rat Maybe it's in a rat belly. Gross. What do you mean? It's locked. Wait, upward? Oh, my eternal soul! It worked! Ah, phew. Thank you so much. It was getting all stuffy in there, and I was getting a mite lightheaded, and I think maybe I was gonna die. Now I'm out here, and I'm headed back to Amber Heights. What? I ain't got nothing on me. How's about a heaping helping of appreciation and respect? Ah, shit. I wouldn't have agreed to be saved if I'd known that. All right, here. Thanks a lot, mister.
sure have seen a lot of the colony, huh, Dr. Fenhill? Ellie. And sure, but most of it looks the same from inside a ship. A fine day for business, isn't it? Anyway, what can I do for you? You weren't supposed to look. I asked you to delete it. Oh, yes. No doubt someone else was having a laugh at my expense before you. This has been my albatross. The great shame of my career. I give MSI everything. My work, my youth, my left kidney, and for years, I was a joke to them. Nonsense. Look what you've done here, Mr. Sanjar. You got a whole township running. Oh, you're kind. But you wouldn't say that if you saw our balance sheets. Oh, perhaps they were right. After all, what have I built? Stellar Bay is barely keeping afloat. I hadn't thought of it that way. But perhaps there's something to that. Thank you for that. Or was there something else? Oh, yes. I'm going to be up all night with this. All those blanks waiting to be filled, boxes waiting to be ticked. Try to control yourself, sir. Have you any idea how powerful this is? Corporations have been toppled with less. What a question! Bureaucratic micromanagement is the only way anything gets done in Halcyon, and proper documentation is a key part of that. For our part, a bill of liquidation slash transfer form 52 will protect our holdings on Monarch by temporarily assigning them to a pass-through entity once we drop our bomb on the board. Sort of. Really, we're just going to blackmail them into offering us a seat at the table. But really, whatever gets you excited about the idea, it's definitely a firm middle finger. That's what I like to hear. I have reason to believe that one of the other corporations is operating on Monarch, illegally and in secret. Really? Most of the time they do illegal stuff out in the open. Cheaper that way. If we can find proof, I can use that as leverage to encourage certain powers that be to accept our Bolt 52 and reinstate us on the board. You really think so? Don't encourage him. I admit, I've been hatching this scheme for quite some time. I just needed someone capable to help me carry it out. If someone is operating here, then Catherine's almost certainly supplying them out of Fallbrook. Perhaps she could be convinced to tell you where they are. Oh, I imagine you do. But as much as I love your can-do attitude and dangerous gravitas, Catherine handles all of our shipments. So it would be best if you could leave her in one piece. Is that how you people put it? Of course. I didn't mean to make assumptions. Once you, uh, subtly work out where this corporate facility might be, bring back proof of its operation. Maybe some nice letterhead. Or someone working there. That would do it. A foolproof plan if I ever heard one. I'll leave the execution to you. Hiram? Why, he's probably still out at Devil's Peak. Not that he's had the courtesy to notify me, at any rate. You'd head south along the road and look for a mountain to the west. Not that I'd advise it. It's a terribly dangerous trek. But, if you insist on going, I'd recommend taking a local guide. Mioka would be a prime candidate. If you can keep her sober.
nice thing about traveling with the captain. We meet all sorts of new people. Sure. Best part is when they pay us. We never really had new folks in Edgewater. hard to make new friends when everyone's already decided they don't like you. Could be a favor in disguise. A lot of people out here ain't that nice. And the little bastard's slippery, right? On account of its blood. So it's, it's sliding all over the place, trying to crawl away. Getting so I can't tell the, tell the blood from the mud. Don't interrupt, it's rude. But I gotta get in there, get right in that baby rap stomach and dig it out. If so much as a drop of stomach acid got on that medallion, I... Shit, I don't know what I'd do. Might be I'd hunt every damn wrapped out there. Right. What are you staring... Wait. You ain't from around here. Who are you? Ooh, charmer. Don't get a lot of that around here. Folks mostly grump at me about how I should join the MSI payroll. Nice change of pace. Buy me a drink, will you? Outstanding! What are you doing in Stellar Bay, stranger? Well, 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 well. Let's get down to brass nuts then, shall we? Brass... Wait, that ain't it. Brass rats? Let's... Let's talk business. I'm headed back out there after I sober up. You want a guide sooner than that? You'll have to get me something to clear my head. Outstanding! Our dispensary here maintains a stock of, uh, well, I don't rightly know what they are. Steroid or caffeine somethings? Pills. They're very good. I'm cut off for the month, on account of needing one just about every damn day. But I'm sure you've got your wily ways. Fetch me one and we'll be all set. Well, they work. We got a deal or what? I wonder sometimes what they're doing on other colonies. Uh-huh. Think they're watching the same serials, following the same. I hear those rich people in Byzantium pay a handsome bit for that must. That they also pay. Hello, dearie. Why, I don't believe I've seen you before. And with sweet cheeks like those, I'd remember. Quite the bedside manner, lady. Well, it's so rare I get the pleasure of new company. What can Auntie Abigail do for you? And what a helpful young man you are. Nothing like a little pill to liven up the spirits. Whiskey helps, too. Please leave medical advice to the professionals. Now, dearie, who is this pickup for? I'm so sorry, but with the iconoclasts and the marauder filth chasing away what little trade we get, I'm afraid I have to reserve my supply for Stellar Bay residents. Our reserves have gotten so low, I've even had to start locking the supply room upstairs. Isn't it a shame what some people will do to get a little extra? The 
Except for you. I can tell. You've got one of those faces. I'd make an exception for you if I could, my little cherub. Is there anyone else needing a special pickup from Auntie Abigail? Oh, her. It's none of my business, but I have told her Dr. Williams would bump up her monthly allotment if only she'd join MSI. Contribute like the rest of us. Now I've gone and said too much. <laughs> and you know me, dearie. I don't like to pry. Well, I'm afraid not. Dr. Williams managed the town's allotments from his terminal upstairs. Even I can't access them. Oh, you flatter an old woman. Me, I'm just here to be a pretty face for the customers. And to keep an extra key to the supply room for all the times Dr. Williams misplaced his. The one upstairs, where we store our medicines. In the town graveyard, I'm afraid. Poor man was always searching for the Flower of Enlightenment. On the way, he tried some rather daring substance combinations. The graveyard's near the southern ruins. You're certainly welcome to pay our respects, but the bodies tend to attract beasties. Do be careful. I'd hate for anything to happen to you, dearie. Chin up, dearie. Dr. Ellie, you ever wonder if maybe we got some things in common? This isn't another thing about wrenches and guns, is it? You don't much like me, huh, Dr. Ellie? It's nothing personal. I'm just not the touchy-feely type. It's just... you seem fine with the others. <laughs>
think they left anything good behind? I wonder who used to live here. Do you suppose anyone remembers anymore? Hello again, dearie. What can I get you? And what a helpful young man you are. Nothing like a little pill to liven up the spirits. Who's your lucky friend, dearie? Don't blame me if I puke on your shoes. Aren't you a saucy thing? I may not be a fresh young thing anymore, but with age comes experience, dearie. Much as I'd love to, my rheumatism is especially fierce at the moment, and I'm all out of my medicine. But I'd hate to send you away empty-handed. You were here for caffeinoid, weren't you? Who's it for? Now, now, there's no keeping secrets from Auntie Abigail. I'll tease it out of you one way or another. Also, I really do have to enter someone's name for the allotment. After all, I have to keep track of where our little pills wander off to. Indeed. Now, how about you tell Auntie who this pickup's for? Oh. It's none of my business, but I have... Now I've gone and said too much. If so, I would love to know where. Sublight supplies don't come cheap. I'd hope not. Fleecing's the mark of a real professional. Believe me, there's nothing I'd love better than to help you. <laughs> but there's not much I can do. Dr. Williams managed the town's allotments from his... Velma's seen out of sorts, too. It's always true. 
right? Ah, the charmer. Welcome back. Drink, chat, or business? All of the above? Says someone who's never had any fun. Exactly. See, I'm glad someone on your crew's got some sensi sensible, got her head on straight. Whew, that hits the spot. Right in the, uh, oh, no, there it is. There it is. Yes. We're in business. Let's go. That was fast. I gotta see about stocking some on the ship. You be careful. The first one's free. After that, they'll offer you gainful employment. Great. Where to? Oh, Hiram? I ain't checked in on that man in an age. He's running the giant radio tower we lovingly call Devil's Peak. We'll be going south and west mostly along the road till we're past Fallbrook. Out there, there's a western slope that'll lead us through some, uh, some fun. You like hunting, right? That's fun. If you're more of a spelunker, Rotting River will take you into the mountain caverns. We can discuss options when we get closer. That said, uh, three's already a crowd. I don't mind waiting somewhere until you got a spot open. Mighty big gun you got there. I'm looking forward to seeing you use it. That's a pretty big gun for a hunter. I don't know what the game's like on Terra 2, but out here, the daintier weapons ain't gonna cut it. Manasaurs require stopping power. Yeah, but what's left after you're done with them? You ever think about what... goes on in a marauder's head? No, they're crazy. But they still manage to feed... Feed themselves, dress themselves, work together. Gotta be something of that. All I need to know is that they're on the... I shipped with a merc who had a gun like yours, Nyoka. He polished it, sang to it, left with it. Not like that, are they? Join me for a second, will you? Hey, got a favor to ask you. Figure while we're out here in the wilderness anyhow, we might stop in on an old friend of mine. Preferably before we get to Hiram's. It's on the way, don't worry. You don't seem the type to run off and get yourself killed, and I could use the help. I'll be up front with you. I hate asking for help. I hate it. Every time I give someone the opportunity to disappoint me, they seem to make it their most immediate goal. But this, what I'm thinking, it's dangerous. Really? Here I was stealing myself for inevitable rejection. I used to run with a band of hunters, friends, six of us. We were on Monarch when the corporations pulled out and we helped a lot of people pick up the pieces. I haven't seen two of them in years, and the rest I know to be dead. I'd like to gather their effects and bury them all in the same places, like the family we once were. First, we go to Hayes. I buried him away from our encampment. I need to pay my respects. I'll show you where he rests. He had a medallion in his effects. That's what I'll bring home to bury. Then we find my two lost trackers and bring them home. A long time ago, we built an encampment in one of Monarch's cave systems. Trouble is, a mana queen showed up and kicked us all out. If we can find Rebecca and Anders, they'll know how to lure her out. Then we kill the bitch and bury everyone's medallions together. <laughs> Thanks, Cap. 